Fuss, you can tankerous bastard. I'm not letting you leave until your armor is on properly. I can use both hands, son. And has your grip strength, hmm? <laughs> oh, don't give me that look. I'm being serious, not suggestive. Ah, Hey, no ideas. Too late. But yeah, you have a point. My grip strength is... I might need to put a wrist strap on my axe or something. Trying to swing with proper edge alignment might be an issue with the tremor. Still want to come out and see the world with me? Hun, I've been cooped up in one place for a month. I don't even think I spent that long at Castle Volkahar, and even if I did, I at least had something to do besides try to whittle and fail miserably. I love you, and I love the sauna, but I'm not exactly used to settled life. Fair enough. Alright. Let's go see Winterhold. And Helgen? Mm, we'll see how you're feeling after climbing four or five sets of stairs. Fair enough. Lead on. Ah, look at that! You can see the extra towers from here. Extra towers? Mm-hmm. There were only two before. Now there are four. Because we needed more room for more students, assuming we have more students. Do you have many students? Eh, uh, not right at the moment. I mean, sort of. We actually had a couple of the crews stay put to, uh... Join up, learn about magic. <laughs> you might catch me up here teaching at some point. That sounds... interesting. And they also did a bit of work on the actual town, too. Which is delightful. We have... Horses here now. Those are some nice horses, actually. Yeah, I thought so. They're, they're quite um pale. Ah, uh, uh, I don't know. I don't do very well around horses. You're kidding me, right? Uh, no. You're a vampire lord and you're scared of horses? I'm not scared of horses, I just... don't... Uh... They're unpredictable. I don't really know how to... to deal with them. Oh, look at this. Wow. I think they might have actually brought this statue with them. That tree, though... <laughs> Hi, puppy. Ooh. <laughs> oh, a couple statues with them. Or maybe they didn't. I, I don't know. But it's very cool. That tree reminds me of the one in Coral a little bit. We've got all sorts of shops that people have opened up. It's like this is an actual proper town again. Nice. Eloquent, as always. Uh, right. To the college. There's a cat on that sign. Yeah! Ah, uh, this place is run by a Khajiit. Oh, hello. Greetings, Archmaid. Do I know you? Probably not. Uh, but yeah. The, this shop is just sort of a general store, but it's run by a Khajiit. I'm... I have no idea where Lofty found all these people. Or if it was him that found them, or Sigwin. And since she's the kind of more... Shall we say diplomatic of the two. Did you actually get to meet them while they were here? Uh, we met in Dawnstar. And that's about it. Oh, right. Careful on the bridge, we still haven't... Figured out a way to put reinforcements in. 
I'm thinking just having an ice mage or something freeze the sides in like some kind of permafrost or something so that we can just... Hello. Well, I'll be. What? I complained about Winterhold not having any docks for them to... Park their ships? Stable that What does one do with ships? Uh, dock. Usually. Good point. Uh, it, or sail, I suppose. But I, I complained about them not having any piers or anything to moor the ships to. And it looks like they went ahead and just did something about that. When your crew is mostly mages, things get done quickly. No kidding. Ah, and here we are. The College of Winterhold. New and improved. <laughs> I see somebody has been getting to work writing missives already. What is this? Someone has been sneaking around invisible. I I don't know who. I'm going to assume most likely Jazaga or one of the new students. And now I need to remember figure out where everything is. What this this uh, this this drawing here thing. You're smiling under there, aren't you? Uh, what gave you that impression? Just a feeling. Uh, uh, I wanted to keep it sort of... Like Shalador's original design for the college, but... Different, because we needed more space. A little bit. And that statue there is a statue of Shalador, lest you wonder. I'm not quite sure how much you care for magic and whatnot, but, uh, it's whether or not I care for it personally, it's nice to see you having a good time. Oh, okay. Tour of the college. Oop, hey Ferolda. Whether or not you end up joining, I don't. We'll just. Uh, uh, uh. Hmm. I don't know. We should consider you for now. Might as well be a prospective student, since, you know, my arm. Magic is going to have to be a thing that I get used to using again. Or at all, really. That's a good point. So this is the sort of teacher's... Dormitory, I suppose? And just a little spot up here. Oh, he kept the enchanting table. Good on him. Not dear knows me too well, I think. I mean, we did spend a significant amount of time together at the College of Whispers, so... Ouch. <clears throat> Not quite sunset. That's bright. Ah, lovely. Alright, let us see what's in here. Oh, he added a... ooh! Well, that's nice. Looks like you can get out here from the uh, Arcanium now. The what? The library. Well, I think you'll like Urag if you do end up becoming a student. He's a cranky old orc, and I say that in the most uh, adoring way possible. That's not the word I'm looking for, but uh, ooh. Who's? Illusion office. Oh! 
Enchanting ovens. Did this... <laughs> I'm wondering if... Lobdeer or Sigwin added these in for me or for the actual... Uh, head of enchanting here, who isn't me, it should be noted. I don't want to know. That would make a nice little council chamber there. Who has a loot? Colette, that's her name. She is the head of restoration here. I think that's her right there, actually. I'm so bad with faces. Hello? Need something? Oh, you're new here! Hello! Hello! Good to meet you. Arden? Hmm? You're adorable. Thank you. <laughs> Ah, there we are. Sun has finally gone down. I can take this thing off now. Buh. Where are we going? You're uh, a little distracted today. I, I mean, I'm distracted every day. The my brain is just a series of chipmunks running around, collecting ideas. And sometimes the chipmunks win, and sometimes I get the ideas. I, I, don't mind me. Is there any particular order to what we're doing here? I want to save the big hall for last. Guest quarters, which I think this would end up being your dorm if you end up being a student. Of course, there's also... You will probably be staying with me, but... Student storms, and some of the teachers, they're just sort of scattered about. They have sort- they had things sorted out before I got here, and I've tried my best not to change things around too much. However... Things have been changed around a bit. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> oh, look at it. Look at Winterhold. Oop, excuse me. <laughs> Fluffy man. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> you are absolutely wonderful when you're... I mean, you're wonderful anyway, but when you're excited, it's especially special. <laughs> uh, right, let's, uh... Uh, other ways where we were going. Ah, uh, I'm all fluttery... in my chest. Hey, Aniel. Bowl of acumen. He renamed a couple, or he named a couple of them. They were all my suggestion, but I can't, I can't remember what the, what the words were. Acumen, attainment, countenance. Have you heard from your family recently? No, not really. Couriers don't seem to like delivering letters here. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Not at all. It means I'm not being hounded about my progress at the college. Hmm. <laughs> Jezargo continues to struggle with wards. You have time to practice? Maybe later? I'm sort of busy now. Oh, okay. Jezargo understands. You hesitate oh. because you know Jezargo will be better than you. <laughs> Very well. And these are... This is sort of the common area. Uh... Jezargo, Ormond, and Relina were here before the whole construction thingy. And I believe... Those two are new here. I don't recognize them anyway, whether they're new or I'm just bad with faces. You know, pretty sure they're new. I haven't yet gone around and met everybody, but I know that 
this delightful lady here, uh, th need something? Ah, uh, I'm trying to remember your name, but uh, you're a master alchemist, right? I've been all across Tamriel. I've seen plenty of things just as outlandish as this. Why? Thank you. I, I was. I think it's great that you are also a bartender because that means you just you. I mean, you mix things well, right? Good. Perhaps I've misjudged. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm just excited to be showing around a possible new student Super and things. Uh, no, as you were. And I'm not expecting Until anything. next time. Really? That must be so nice. I came all the way to Skyrim just to get away from my family's expectations. Hmm. Oh, my family out is... didn't really approve of me coming here at all. Oh, well, that's awkward. Sorry to have brought it up. Yeah, um, let's just go up the top. Uh, except that we can't because we have to get out again. Excuse me, Belina. It's a fine day with you around. How are your studies going, by the way? You doing all right? I can always assume yes. There we are. I'm gonna be honest. That Altmer in there scared the daylights out of me. I yeah yeah I I had the same kind of uh, like. Hello. <laughs> what is this? Oh. Back to the previous Archmage, who I still sort of feel a bit responsible for. Even though, you know, one does not simply control Oncano. And that was the case for as long as I knew him. Sounds about right. Oh, he uh, vaulted the ceiling. Look at that! Oh! Oh, wow! How are those st You know, I'm not gonna question it because he has, like, all sorts of mages at his disposal from all across Tamriel. Oh, this is nice. I haven't seen in here yet and I'm very happy, very happy indeed. Look at- oh, hey, cool. We have a place where we can actually give lectures now. This is good. This is very good. You planning many lectures? I might have one or two up my sleeve about various historical things, maybe, uh... Oh. Notice to all, if you wish to visit the Midden, that is your business. If you do remember to lower the bar once you return, else we'll wind up with ice rays in the Arcanium again. Oh, what happened? And another member of the college, in other words, you, has the opportunity to learn how difficult it is to thaw and dry ancient texts to my satisfaction. Urag Groshub, our delightfully cranky librarian. He sounds like my kind of people, which you did say earlier. I did indeed. Oh, thank Mara, we actually have a, um, infirmary. Which is good, because you would not believe how many accidents happened during construction, and also just because of students prax pr practicing magic and whatnot. Nah, I believe it. Mages, right? Mm-hmm. Cool, 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 cool. Whoop. Excuse me. I was saying something before about lectures that I had planned, but... Eh, I have them written down. I will get to them eventually. Mostly, they're just... Oh, there he is! Greetings, Archmage. Hi, uh, 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 Urag? Um... Are you... 
liking the new library? Fight well. Fight well. Right. He seems interesting. Okay, but you haven't seen the li I'm the library? Oh my goodness. Greetings, Archmage. Thank you, those are the doors out, which I did not see, but I did see them holding in an absolute... What's a, what's a good word? Uh, I, uh... I'm totally awake. You're adorable. I know I am, stop saying that. <laughs> or I know you think I am, rather. But yeah, I saw them holding in all of these bookshelves. And I figured something like this was going to happen. Oh. Wow. Oh. 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 Lob dear is sometimes a genius. Sometimes he's a bit too much like me for my liking and for possible safety. I am having flashbacks to the days over in... over in Cyrodiil at the Arcane University, getting absolutely abysmally lost in the library. I am so happy. Oh, this is so nice. I, 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 I haven't been able to stop smiling since we set foot in here. Uh, right, and then there's a collection up here, somewhere. Which I think I forgot the key to. Guess we'll find out. Oh, no, it's not locked. Good. Here we are. My question mark, private collection. It's it's just sort of a hello, treatise on Elytic Cities. I can't remember why I picked that one up, but whatever. Hosting of the hunt. I, oop. Hmm. You alright? I... yeah, I just... remembered that I haven't actually... taken the time to eat in the last couple of days. Forceful reminders. Always delightful. Uh, but I'm actually, you know, more in control of myself than I used to be, which is nice. Oh, my fangs are out, though. Mm. So yes, this is this is where I assume uh, another place that I can come to just sort of sit and be out of the noise of the students and the teachers and the gossip and the everything spells being flung that isn't the little cabin with the tiny sauna which is quite nice Whew. oh that's that's nice okay so now we have the should we save this place for last? Uh, that's up to you. What else is there? Is there a roof? It, it, you know, that's a good question. Let's go check. I should know better than to give you ideas. <laughs> yes, you should, but uh, feeling is mutual, so... We give each other ideas. Sometimes it's, uh, it's really high up. Ooh, I'm not scared of highs, but that gave me the heebie-jeebies. Oh, they moved the tree! Trees. Oh, this is cute. We could, we could, we could, I, uh, for, we're vampires. 
E yeah. I was just thinking we could come up here and have dinner, but we're vampires. <laughs> so, um, maybe not. Uh, and and not drinks either because of you. Um. Are you alright? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I'm enjoying you being... you. Uh... 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 uh, 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 uh I am quite flustered. Let's go see the... 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 the excuse me, the... Stop. Stop, 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 stop looking at me like that. How am I looking at you? Like, like, like you. Let's just, yeah. <laughs> I'm a mess, I'm a mess, I'm a mess. You keep calling me adorable and that here you are. Just, I, I just want to hug you. Except I don't want to screw with your arm too much. Um, much appreciated. Running around is... not as bad as it was, but... <sighs> not exactly pleasant, either. It'll be alright. I think, I hope, I suspect. And now... the Archmage's quarters. Ta-da! It's different. It's actually got an enclosed space for the room now. You have been here before. Y yeah. I forgot entirely that you've been here before, but what do you think? I think it's absolutely wonderful. Um, haven't quite figured out what that does yet. I'm not necessarily an illusion mage or a divinationer or whatever the call. Di I'm not a diviner, that's the word. But, uh, look, a place. <laughs> a place for my myriad collection of random. Um. Junk. Artifacts have some respect. <laughs> I. I can say that now. I love you. Ah, happy Arden. Happy Arden. You're going to make me melt into a pile of goo, love. Mm. Uh, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. Just having a moment. Ah. Uh. Yeah, don't worry about me. Ever had those moments where you think this is too good to last? Oh. Oh. This seems a bit forward of me, but I, I mean, it's been several months. But here's the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, under other circumstances, maybe. Oh, great. Who put a mannequin in here? I don't know. I think probably Lockdeer. He has an interesting sense of humor. Not a fan, I take it. Um, no, to put it lightly. Yeah, me neither, and I don't know what to put on it, so... <laughs> Maybe my old Dwemer armor. The... the... Oh, hello. And um, there's a letter here from someone named Ash. Hmm. Ingrath, are you alright? Yeah, uh... Picked a great time, Mavala. Darling! Uh... Actually, are you- is this all just a little too much, or...? No, no, nothing like that. I just have some business to take care of in Whiterun, apparently. Oh? 
I'm weird, remember? Ah. Oh. Uh, I didn't hear anything. Meet you in Helgen, then? Yeah. Thank you, love. That was much less awkward than I was expecting. Meet you in Helgen. I might be a while, depending. Want me to walk you there just so I know you haven't run into trouble at least that far? Or is this an alone thing? I'd prefer to go a- Actually, you know, strength in numbers. Come on. Just don't ask too many questions about what I'm doing for whom and to whom, alright? Ah, and that gives me more than enough of a hint. Will do. Good luck. Be careful. I'm usually careful, hon. Welcome. Make yourself at home. May I ask whose business you're on? Someone sang a song for a killer. I'm hoping I'm on your business. Of course. My apologies. Am I here on your business, miss? Call me Lavender. How much information do you need? Who needs to die, and why do you want them dead? I'd also personally like to know if you have any clan affiliations, but that's none of my business, Lavender. The idiot shouting about how awful Murr are. I never learned his name. I assume you know of him. I want him dead for personal reasons I would rather not share, and I can't kill him myself. I have been slowly poisoning him to give the illusion that his health is failing. I'd like it to seem like he died in his sleep. As for clan affiliations, I avoid them as much as I can. I skirt territory to the best of my abilities. Heimskur. I was considering offing him unprompted for obvious reasons. A casualty of war. Thank you for paying me to do this, and for laying the foundation. Once the job is finished, I'll be back to collect. Was there anything else you needed? Before you go... I was attacked by feral vampires on my way back from Winterhold. I have no idea how fresh this is. It's likely from before they lost their minds. I have no use for it. You came from Winterhold. I read a note for the Archmage up to the college. I recognized your sense from when the Stormcloak troops were gathering in front of Whiterun. As payment for your service, I'm offering my home as a safe, neutral hiding place for you two and your allies and my services as an alterationist. If that isn't enough, I have some gold hidden away. I recognized your scent when I passed the Whispering Door north of Dawnstar, hence my singing for a killer. Do you know who my allies are? I assume the group of people you fought with when you stormed Whiterun, and Miss Gold. I may not be one of her little birds, but I help them enough that I hear things. Yeah, that's them. Uh, apologies for the... hesitation. It's been a long month and I've been burned by contractors before. Literally. As I said, I hear things. How long do you need? I need to know how many more doses of poison I need to get. I'd rather not have poisoned food laying around his house. Understandably so. It won't be long. I'll go pay him a visit when we're done here. With any luck, we'll be done by morning and I'll be on my way to... Poison food. You're an alteration mage, not an alchemist, right? Correct. I said get, not make. While I have knowledge of many ingredients, all of my attempts of actually brewing anything made a big mess. I know an alchemist, or three. 
If you ever need a supplier, I'm sure Miss Gold could set you up. If you're offering your service as an alterationist, I suspect you're well studied. What does an alterationist do, exactly? I'm not as familiar with the various schools of magic as my... <laughs> as the Archmage is. One of Miss Gold's little birds has been supplying me, actually. And thank you. As the name implies, alterationists alter things. I can give you a demonstration when you get back. I'm sure you'll want to be on your way before sunrise. In that case, I'll be back in... Not long, hopefully. He shouldn't struggle too much if you've been poisoning him. Thank you, Mafala, for the easy job.
Captain! Fall back! What do you know of alteration magic? I'm showing my skill gaps here, but... Oak flesh, right? Flesh spells are alteration. Oh. Arden would flay me. Alteration is flesh spells. It's the school of magic the aliens practically invented. But... I'm not much of a mage, so that's about it. Keep in mind that I'm entirely self-taught, so my methods are likely different from anything you are used to. Alteration can be split into three categories, changing objects, changing others, and changing the self. Objects are the simplest and broadest category. Essentially, if you know the properties of both, you can change one thing into another. There are less published spells that alter others. The only one I'm aware of is paralysis. While I lived abroad, I heard whispers of someone able to turn someone's blood to stone, the air in their lungs into water. Altering others is essentially the same as altering objects, but more complicated because of all the interconnected parts. One can make the change either permanent or not. There is slightly different weaving between the two. Sounds like flesh sculpting. Hmm. Guess I knew more about alteration than I thought. Old alien magic, lost to the ages. Probably. So you could potentially make one person look like another. Am I hearing that right? I'm getting to that. Altering the self is a lot more studied, so there are far more published spells. There are the flesh spells, as you mentioned, and alterations to one's sight to allow one to see life or undeath, auras through walls or other obstacles, water breathing by various means, some involving gills, some not. Creating floating lights is also considered alteration, but I don't understand how it is. It seems closer to conjuration to me. What I specialize in could be called flesh sculpting. Odd. Never would have been able to picture a Nord doing that kind of thing. I'm almost afraid to ask for a demonstration. My flesh is a little mangled already. Don't worry, I'm not going to do anything to you. Right, you can do it on yourself. Impressive. That's nearly flawless. And what a dangerous power to command. Curiosity getting the better of me, and please excuse me if I've been rude, is this a solid spell? Will it break if someone were to, say, run into you? The version I just cast isn't. As I said, it can be made permanent with a different weaving. It is possible to cast on others, but 
requires more time and for me to study the subject thoroughly. Before you ask, it does not cure vampirism. My eyes still hurt and my skin still itches, but it's better than burning alive. If you tried to get into the college, I'm sure the Archmage would either love to help you perfect it or... I don't know, ramble about it. It seems useful, if a bit frightening, truth be told. Thank you. And no, I'm not joining the college. Can you imagine the bloodshed the wrong hands could make with this? Even if a mention of this kind of magic was written down without any context... I can. And I won't ask. You're a brave woman, Lavender. And a strong one. My name, if you ever need to find me, is... Ingrath. If... I don't end up back here for some reason. I'll pass the message on to my friends that this place is safe and that you're a safe person as far as I can tell. Ingvirani, do you need a place to stay or can you get to where you need to go before dawn? Party at Elgin. I think I can get there. Take care of yourself, Lavender. I'll be around, I think. If I'm not, Miss Gold will be. Well, it's been lovely working on all of this with you, but I think it's time I get back to my real job. Thank you for the vacation, Kinoa. <laughs> Anytime. Thanks for your help with everything. You know it. And the rest of you know where to find Arden, usually, and Zaytest. And they know where to find me, so if anyone ever needs my help, don't hesitate to ask. Right. Uh, Jan Vita, speaking of help, you might be pleased to note that Lopta, Sugi, and their crew are on their way back to High Rock. Now the construction and repairs and everything is finally done. I see. I hope they get there safely. <laughs> I'm kicking myself about it now, but I'm glad he's got Sigwin looking after him. Hey, which, speaking of things and stuff and people and cursed places, there is still the small matter of Solstein, and checking to see if Mirak is actually out of commission or if it's still cursed up there. Oh, Mirak. The guy who keeps sending cultists after me. Hey, that's him. Ancient evil spirit of some description? Maybe Dragonborn? Yep. Gran didn't want to go back there without you since you're also a Dragonborn and might be the only one who could actually go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Oh. Oh, great. And I'm not going without you two, since I don't know my way around Soul Slime at all. Good. So that means you're coming with us. I think I'd better. Get out of Marcus's hair, or bald spot anyway, for a while. Get away from Sienna's incessant flirting, more like. <sighs> yeah, that too. Kyan, bless her, but Mara, please stop. <laughs> eh. And since there's the potential of weird black books being involved, Maybe the Archmage would like to come along? I... Uh... I would come with you, but... A, I don't dare leave Ingrath alone, even though he seems to be back to his old capable self. And... B, I did promise him and myself a break and a trip to Cyrodiil, so... Ooh, have fun, you two. Dom, no, it... I... No. You're actually not diving into the next project for once. What changed? You did. You know, when I accused you two of having a lover spat back when we all first met, I didn't think you two were actually having a lover spat. To be fair, we weren't at the time. Huh. I do remember that, vaguely. And where are you gonna be, kiddo? Selling potions in Riften? Ugh. Can I come with you, actually? I would be selling wares and whatnot in Riften, but Inigo went to go catch up with Langley, and I am so bored without him. And I need to keep track of you in case of wildlife or looters or otherwise. Not that I think Tall, Dark, and Sparky couldn't handle it, but strength in numbers, no? Sparky? <laughs> Gonna be my bodyguard, then. Yee. Yeah. Alright, fair enough. Strength in numbers, indeed. Should we wait for Inigo? Eh, he only left like yesterday, and I don't think he's even found the place again yet, so... Eh, no. 
I think he needs a break as much as you do. Oh, right. Have you still got the book? That way, if we have any weird questions about, I don't know, weird magic stuff, we can ask you even though you'll be taking a break. I do indeed still have the book. And while I do feel kind of bad leaving so soon after construction is finished... No, I don't blame you. All of us wanderers who can't stand sitting still for too long. You've been working hard again and we've been too normal and need something different. Tell me about it. Eh, speak for yourself. I am learning to enjoy just settling again. But... Mirak. And I'd like to see how the village is doing besides. Aye, it was kind of an estate when I last saw it, but with any luck we can do something about it if it's still that bad. Well, in that case, you all be safe, all right? <laughs> we'll be walking into a dragon's maw. I don't think any part of that is safe. In that case, try not to die. Heh, <laughs> aye, that we can do. Mm-hmm. And I will do my best to keep those two out of trouble. Sounds like a plan, as a great archmage is fond of saying. You know me altogether too well. We'll leave you three to get supplies for your trip. Keep in touch. Aye, you know it, Mr. Wilk. Come on, hon. I've got itchy legs and the only cure is a long walk to the Pale Pass. <laughs> I shall leave. Speedy Kajit knows the way, I think. Toodles, Sparky. Of course, I hate you. <laughs>